In one of my previous videos, I made my first ever monthly calendar or as you usually call month at a glance for February of 2024. So for March, I've decided that I won't be doing that detailed month at a glance or monthly calendar anymore simply because I don't have a lot of interesting events or anything going on in the timetable. I get it if you're a busy person, like if you have a business with employees or if you do corporate jobs and you have meetings or you have events that you need to attend to, you have workshops, or if you're at school and you have exams that you need to highlight and take notes on specific dates of the month, then I think that this monthly calendar would be a great benefit for you. I just don't have anything interesting going on for me for the whole month because my life is basically very boring. <laughs> just kidding. That's why for March, I will just do a very basic, very minimal title and just a quick calendar. And then I will write some goals that I have for the month. For me, I feel like March is the month that I don't want to go crazy with it but rather i already know what i want to achieve i already know what i need to do so march is the month that i push myself to be persistent consistent and patient with myself in my journey so march is going to be the month of habits tracking wellness tracking workout log and food diary basically everything to keep track of my daily habits my workout routines my self-care rituals etc even for the start of this month i just want to do something basic so i don't want to go overboard with the decorations and the aesthetics or anything so this is also just a reminder that you don't have to go crazy every month or every day there are times that you just need to slow down take a step back and just do what you gotta do you know not every month you need to set different goals big goals or big events in your life and slowing down is the best way to speed up and that is my theme for march my goals for march is just very simple goals that is related mostly to self-care and self-reflection i do want to put the first goal to lose around one kilo of weight or one kilo of body fat I feel like I gained a little bit of weight since the past couple of months because I wasn't careful with what I eat. I'm not planning to be very strict with my diet or anything, but I just want to be more mindful about eating and not binge eat when I'm not hungry and also cut back on fried food. February was the month of the big holiday and I have my family coming over I think for a week or something so I couldn't get a lot of workouts in. So for March, I want to focus more on the longer form of workouts. Like I usually just do yoga for 20 or 30 minutes but for March, I want to make it longer. I want to have 45 or 60 minute sections of yoga just to build some heat and to feel strong in my body and also lose a little bit of fat along the way so two birds and one stone i am also on a mission of trying to take more walks in the parks i have lived here for one and a half year and i honestly don't go out that much i only go out for grocery shopping i know that it's not good for my mental health which is why for the next goal, I will try to go for a walk in the park once or twice a week. I need to take advantage of the fact that I live in the countryside and the air is so nice here, as well as the landscape, the atmosphere, the people, literally everything. And just simply stop hiding in my cave so much. I honestly, I have always dreamed about working from home, working remotely, being a content creator, etc. But it seems to have been taking a toll on me because once you're in charge of your environment and you're just so comfortable being by yourself, you just basically fall into a slump of staying at home all the time. And especially here when the weather is so hot all the time i feel like i keep making excuses for not going out and i usually wake up 
late like 8 or 9 a.m and that is when the sun starts to get really hot so i just make excuses and i stay at home and then for until the evening i have to work i have to teach online english and a lot of students learn in the evening because they have to go to school during the day so basically that is my cycle of waking up making excuses staying at home and then busy in the evening I think it's good that we allow ourselves and we have the opportunity to be in our comfort zone to do whatever we want to do without anyone else pushing us or putting any pressure on us. But sometimes we need to, you know, put a, push ourselves out of our comfort zones just a little bit, maybe once or twice a week just to learn new things and explore new areas of the place. I think that it would be really good for our mental health if we do that. The left page is the everything habits and wellness tracker that I did for my previous video and also I will use it for March. If you want to check um, that in more detail, you can check out my video on the habits and wellness tracker i will link it in the description box and for the next page i want to do a workout log i'm not the kind of person that can plan the whole week of workouts because it really depends on my energy levels for each day but i do want to be as active as possible so that's why for the month of march i want to keep track of the workouts that I do each and every single day and also the durations of it. Along with the sleep tracker, mood tracker, period tracker, and habits tracker, I want to see if the intensity and the regulators, if that's the right word, like how regularly I do workout is going to affect my mood or anything in my physical body so yeah i just want to see and i'm very excited to see how everything is connected to each other and for the last part of this workout log page i will also make a timetable that i can keep track of my measurements for the month of march there seems to be five weeks in total each week i will try to measure my weight along with the measurements of my body my waist my chest my arms my thighs and my butt now i'm just cleaning everything before moving on to the next page of this planner for march it's going to be the food log or i can also call it food diary again for the theme of march of tracking how everything is connected to each other. I do want to see how different types of food are going to affect my body because I usually have regular bloating throughout the month and it's really uncomfortable. I think it's going to be a great way for me to be more mindful of what I eat and what I consume. And also, I can also try new recipes and see my reactions with it. So this is just going to be very basic. Um, I will have one column with food so I can keep track of the food that I eat and the second column is going to be the notes um, like if I like the food or if the food makes my body feel good if it makes my body feel bloated or anything you know just nice and simple okay I think that is it we did a quick mini monthly calendar for march the goals the habits tracker the workout tracker and the food log thank you so much for hanging out with me today let me know what you think in the comments below and until next time bye